So Bobby, this is your second meetup. What do you think the difference is, biggest difference between your first meetup and this meetup? I would say that the, uh, the amount of people was the big difference here. Um, a lot less people. So my first event being <clears throat> Phoenix with about 50 people there. Yeah, so getting so. to see everybody else again um, and actually getting to talk to a little bit more people this time uh, has been really awesome. Yeah, this is your second time? Yeah, it's my second time too. Um, I mean, I think for me it was just different experiences. Um, there were times, yeah, when things were a little bit overwhelming, but in Phoenix, but for me it was a blast. Like, I think I benefited from that differently, slightly differently than I did from this. Definitely here is able to maybe have more conversations and talk to people a lot more. Um, so, yeah, it's it's they've both been kind of unique in their own way and they've both been a blast. This is three for me if you count uh, the day I came to Pittsburgh last year. Okay. Uh, it's uh, Phoenix was fun. I think this is more my speed, honestly. Okay. Uh, it's I, I like the big events, but I echo what you say that the more intimate setting like you get it's a little bit less overwhelming and people are a little more approachable when you don't have 50 people running around not having two houses is nice although like i'm not really benefiting from that because i'm also up the road a little bit <laughs> yeah that's so, true because <laughs> uh, my family's here now uh, but <clears throat> it was a little bit disconnected i was i was in the other house there i think you so were, was i yeah, yeah. yeah. so uh it was a little bit like, you know, you'd go back in the evening, you're like, the other house is having all the fun. Yeah. <laughs> Our house mostly just went to bed. Uh, so it's been, it's good. It's it's good. It's hot here. It's a different area. Yeah, hot different. Here. Yeah. yeah. Was, I mean, it was hot in Phoenix, but like, no I didn't feel like I was swimming through the air uh, like I do here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is my third um, meetup in Pittsburgh. Arizona and here and it's definitely a significant difference with the smaller intimate setting I felt well I loved Phoenix and it was a really cool event um, I just like that aspect that today you know this time around it was like not really highly structured so it's yep. like all right we felt like going here today we're gonna go do this and <laughs> can't do that when you have 50 people yep. so I think it was kind of cool right. to have that you know a little more laid-back approach where we still got the stuff done that we wanted to do we still had time to talk and engage with each, each other and I think it was a fantastic we had our weird moment yesterday oh yes <laughs> what was that yeah what was that the luau oh the luau yeah oh yes. that's a unique experience it was unique. yeah it was unique for sure it was fun i, I mean yeah. I, I definitely it was it was actually fun <laughs> was, i walked in there i'm like what have we gotten ourselves into <laughs> yeah I, I think phoenix is like a flagship event right yeah. like i think that you can't sure. do more than one of those a year because i think a lot of time went into planning it whereas i think this was a little more i'm gonna be here anyways uh so let's see if we can get people together and definitely seemed less structured which was okay yeah so i have a question for everyone yeah. here one thing for me that i noticed that was interesting like phoenix to this one here are the gyms Yes. The variety of equipment, just different gyms, different people. And I don't think I've seen as many shredded people <laughs> in my life as I have here in the, in, the, in the gym we went to. So, like, how has that been uh, for everyone here? I'm kind of curious to go around and see how has that been for you? What kind of differences? How has that benefited you? And how does it compare to, like, your normal kind of workout that you do back home? And for me with Pittsburgh, there was actually a lot of shredded folks in the gym. Yeah, really? was, Not like this, though. No, okay. but I mean, there was, you know, and that was, kind of yeah. intimidated me when going into that event, yep. my first one. Sure. I kind of got used to it. And yeah, there was a lot of shredded people today, but I think also I have a lot more confidence in yeah. what I can do. Right. So right. I don't really worry about it. You were with my group, right? It was yeah. you and Thomas at yeah. first time in Phoenix or uh, Pittsburgh. Yeah, it was, you could ring testosterone and or steroids <laughs> like you could just yeah. grind up the people yeah. in iron religion and yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. serve them as supplements i feel like uh, yeah <laughs> uh i like the it makes me want to find a gym that has more items in it right, right? like uh i do have the uh, flappy leg machine the uh what is it, the hip abductor yeah that's what it's called that one uh, is, yeah but I've never used it, right? It's not programmed in my programming, so I'd never been on one. It's it's something, but like I don't have a hack squat, and you know, it kind of makes me want a hack squat or right. go find a gym that has one in it. Uh, I I like learning new things, and you know, when we come to these gyms that have new items, Ben finds new ways to torture us. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. 
Did you guys think about the uh, nice little finisher at the uh, work second workout? I didn't that find one. it yeah. too bad for for my group. Uh, Randy took over the running, so okay. he was just gone for running, and then Ben and I um, split the uh, pull ups, squats, okay. and push ups. Uh, so it, with the training that I've been doing with Ben for yeah. nine months now, uh, my like push up quality and amount has like shot up from like five to yeah. oh I can knock out forty in one quick set. So uh, that helped me feel like that got through pretty quick. So we split ours into thirds, and uh, it was cardio load, right? It's right. like the mm. uh, other than the fact that. Thought my arms were gonna fall off push ups. <laughs> the rest of it was just my heart rate. I'm like, I look down, I'm like, oh, my heart is 72. This is fun. Uh, the running wasn't that bad. I, I run, uh, so but we just our group decided to just split it evenly. So we each had ran a third of a mile, or I ran 0.34, so we had the full mile, mm -hmm. uh, and then we just split everything in thirds. That, that worked out pretty well. Yeah. What was uh, the hardest one? What was the hardest exercise after like finishing it? Uh, probably the push-ups, honestly. Yeah, push-ups. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, because he let us do the assisted pull-ups or the leaned back on the rings pull-ups, and yeah. I didn't find those to be too terrible. I mean, if you would ask me to do real pull-ups, we I'd probably still be over there trying yeah. to get two. Same. Uh, but yeah, I was, <laughs> I was surprised. Like, I, I, Dill was asking me like before, what is like the workout that you're not looking forward to yeah. the most? I'm like pull-ups, but then. And we were allowed to do assisted on both yeah. push-ups and yeah i i like i was like doing all i was trying to find any way to help myself yeah. with the mm -hmm. push-ups and i was dying i couldn't i managed all full push-ups so what was that 66 of them i think yeah, right because there's 200 push-ups yep. yeah so oh. i did 67 so i did 60 yeah 34 and then 33 uh but yeah, I split our the block into two. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to be able to bust out a 67 push up. So it's like yeah. I did, you know, 33, and then I did 50 squats, right, and then okay. 17 okay. Uh, rings or ring pull up things. That that made it a little more manageable. Yeah, I think, absolutely. Split that into thirds. Mm -hmm. I do not look forward to ever doing that again. <laughs> It'd be okay if I don't ever really? have to do that again. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess it was okay. Yeah, I look forward to being able to do a pull up. Same. I I think I can do like one, maybe two now, but definitely would like to be able to do, I don't know how many, like as many as possible. Right? right? What'd you think yeah. of the Murph workout? If you got put yeah. through? Yeah. The Murph, I can't imagine doing the Murph workout by myself. That was just insane. Andreas did that. Yeah. Respect. Yeah. Yes. Much Respect to Andreas. A third, the, a third of the Murph, like we did, was still hard. <laughs> Yeah. But I did actually enjoy the running because uh, it was just you know three uh, three quarters of a mile. And yeah, you're done, and then three Hammered quarters out. again. Yeah, it would have been nice if the treadmills hadn't kicked off in the middle of our <laughs> run. <laughs> that was a little abrupt. Yeah, you're sitting there chugging away. You know, the last you know mile, we're trying to chug that as a team, and the next you know like, set of treadmills just powers out. I'm like, <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh crap, what do we do? Yeah, we had to jump over to all the machines and finish it out. But yeah, it kind of ruins your momentum. But it's just I think also a mental thing to kind of get over that grind and get through it. Did you guys do any PRs? I did. I finally PR'd on something. I never thought I would be able to bench, what was it? Two plates. 135. I, 135. Ever, like it was, it, for a very long time, it was like one of my weakest exercises. Also because of shoulder issues and stuff like that. I had to quit it for so long. So, and then Phoenix, I guess I, I wasn't able to push myself as much, didn't PR or anything, but here I was surprised, like I actually did a couple, I think, and yeah, what about you guys? Yeah, I, like I had a Phoenix, I PR'd everything, because it was my first time like, nice. like with powerlifting, so mm -hmm. yeah, every, like, anything <laughs> would have been uh, my PR, but I did, uh, whatever, we, what do we do, squats first? Um, yeah, I think so, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so we did squats and I, got close and Thomas was like, you got this in you. So I went ahead and tried it and PR'd there. And so then I just set myself the goal of, let's just PR the um, the deadlift and the bench and manage to get those. So that's awesome. That was good. Yeah, I yeah, know PR should be this time around. I did match my you know, previous lifts and GNX. So just something I'm going to work towards and, you know, can't be in a perfect mindset mode to do it, but you know, I'll get there right. next time.
Absolutely. Yeah, Thomas ran a really good clinic. He did. Uh, and, you know, Adam did too. That, and that was the same thing for me in Phoenix. It was my first time PRing anything, everything. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I matched my deadlift and my bench, which was still pretty good. <laughs> but my squat was insane. I went from 225 to 355. Wow. wow. That's, That's awesome. Big. That's huge. It wasn't pretty. <laughs> Not done, though. <laughs> but I got hey. it done. Yeah. That was, it, was, it was insane. I, I just... I was, I'm glad they didn't tell me how much it was. No. And they just kept adding and they're like, okay, okay. And I'm like, and then afterwards I would ask them how much was that? But yeah, there's definitely a mindset and a mental thing, especially when you have injuries to worry oh, yeah. about and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. I think okay. the biggest part there is having that group to cheer you on and coach you on too. I mean, that's, that's something I don't have at home. You know, you don't get that at home. 100%. You know, having that, you know, people cheering you on, having that group cheering you on, saying you can do it and throw my weights on there. I mean, that's just a, a big different for the mindset i was telling thomas i think there's like a 10 percent factor right at least with the group because you trust everyone like you know they're not going to let you get hurt and they're going to cheer you on and i think that hype just gets you lets you push a little harder yeah for sure awesome so if I, I guess we get to sit there and pick something else from this uh you know trip what would be there one of your highlights i guess god highlights uh gym or outside of gym yeah i'm like the the gym was uh like we are, talked about with the different machines and everything was um pretty interesting so that was kind of cool to try out some new stuff there um outside of the gym uh I almost feel like ben's guacamole is delicious <laughs> yeah, that's true. i was gonna say like I was, surprised. Again. Yeah. I was like are you part latina <laughs> <laughs> There's been a lot of Mexican, a lot of margaritas on this trip. Yeah. Just yeah. here, just being out. I mean, it just seems like we're uh, definitely leaning in that uh, direction. <laughs> well, I thought it was funny. We went to the Irish pub and had margaritas. <laughs> Best margarita I had out was at a freaking Irish pub. It was awesome. <laughs> you know, certainly going to do the beach today. Yeah. It's like a nice say, yeah. let down, like cool down mm -hmm. to like the last two days of like kind of hell. <laughs> right. Yeah. Even though you're real sore, you know, everything is still pretty cool. Like, you know, out there on the beach. It wasn't yeah. Cool spot, but, yeah. You know, yeah. It was fun. It was good fun. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I think that would that's that's mine too. And it's it's kind of interesting that, you know, the day off, so to speak, that we get on these trips is usually a workout in itself. You know, just being on the beach, playing volleyball and running around, it's, that's, it was definitely kind of a workout in itself. Feeling the soreness, oh my God, it's killing me. The funny thing for me is like, I couldn't have played volleyball a year ago. I just, I mean, I, I couldn't physically do it. And it just really was kind of cool going through that today and actually be able to play and have, you know, I said, hey, I actually was able to do that, you know? Yeah, so, you know, I was wheezing a bit, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I was definitely it wasn't able. pretty, but you know, yeah. it did it, you know, yeah, so it was it, cool. It was cool to be able to play too. Yeah. And, and that, like you said, like that just extra gear that you have that you didn't have, you know, six months a year from now yeah. before, and then, yeah. you, you know, in the future, it's going to be even better. Yeah. The yeah. number of times I've heard that on this trip, I'm like, that's amazing. Everyone just saying like, I couldn't do this or I couldn't do that. So much respect for everyone and yeah. their effort and what they're doing, what they're able to accomplish so far. It's huge. Those little wins, yeah. you know, like they're 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 motivators. I think for for the person that, that's accomplished them, but for everyone else, you can see like, see, this person has been able to do that. You know, that's going to motivate me to go and work harder and have my own kind of accomplishments. That's awesome. Yeah, it was uh, cool to play volleyball today. Um, you know, falling face first into the sand, going for a ball. That but being able to get back up and not roll over and yeah, after yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. it, it was do the turtle get up yeah. <laughs> and uh you know a couple of kids wanted to play with us yeah, so like that they, was really they cool. thought they thought oh, we were fun awesome. right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah that was did. cool this is uh the one year anniversary to my first event in real life event which was colorado Oh, wow. So to see the change in me, but to also see the new people coming in and then the other people that have been on some of these that have progressed is just amazing. Absolutely. Um, August will be my two year with oh, that. Wow. Nice. And I am just not the same person physically, mentally, in every way. I'm better uh, for my family, yep. for, for everybody around me, yeah. for myself. It's good Absolutely. to be able to show up. Yeah. 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 And uh, I think these events, you know, they're a big part of it. it it's the community. It's Absolutely. not just it's not just Ben giving us our weekly check-ins or, you know, the motivation or changing our, our workouts to fit our needs. 
It is, uh, you know, having the discord, but then coming together, seeing familiar faces, new mm -hmm. faces, and, uh, you know, it is a community. It, it's, I don't think anybody expected this of it. Yeah, I have to admit, Phoenix was, you know, my first meetup, and I didn't really know any of you, so I didn't know what to expect. I was intimidated. I knew all of you were in better shape, and, you know, it, the, the welcoming that I just got from all of you, like each individually, like in a group setting, in an individual setting, you know, just sitting in the car or walking or whatever has been, it has really changed my mindset, to be honest. And I think to me, that was the last piece missing of the pillars for me, because I did not have the right mindset. I was kind of just going through the motions, making up excuses. And then Phoenix happened and it's like, I can do this. And then here, you know, now I'm, I'm a little more comfortable with you guys. And it's like, I don't want to let y'all down. And I want to be there to support y'all too. Cause it's not just about me, right? It's about giving back to you guys too. Yep, exactly. and I think it's just been, you know, this, this trip has been less anxiety and more just like fun. Just fun. Yeah, absolutely. I totally get that, you know, Colorado a year ago, a, you know, when does an adult go to summer camp? Right? Yeah. Right. And, and right? That, that's what it felt like. Yeah, and yeah. you land uh, and you, you show up and you, you've seen some faces. You've never seen some of these people in person. And everybody's just willing to help you become better. And it just it just kind of rolls from there. And it becomes second nature after first, second. You know, Phoenix is was different. It was just okay, so, so big. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, having the uh this event you know the size it is um you get to spend more time individually with people in more intimate it, yeah. exactly right. so uh i think there's there's room for all kinds of events yeah and uh i think we just roll with it because everyone's just pretty easy to get on i don't think you'd survive here if you weren't easy to get along with motivated to change absolutely. and motivated to help others yeah. absolutely yeah really well said how do you guys explain this to others Oh, that's a, that's uh, that's yeah. a that's a good one. I, uh, the funny story yesterday, I was out with a friend. I went up with her. We went in, down to International Drive, where one of the slingshot is, and then there's little stores here and there and kiosk and whatever. And she's like, "Oh, wait, wait, you're here for a fitness thing. I shouldn't really take you there." I'm like, "Funny you say that. You know, <laughs> you should come and see what we eat and what we do and how we behave. It's not like that. It's not like that. You know, we all are learning how." Um, to navigate this in our own way. We know what our limits are. We know know how to be disciplined. And you clearly see that here. You come like, yeah, we have candy in our bags and, you know, we have uh, crumble cookies all over the place. But, you know, like, we, I think we were talking about, it, like, after the, the boxes in Phoenix, everyone was cutting them up into small little pieces. And, like, if this was any other group, that thing would have been demolished and gone. Absolutely. So we're just, it's a lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. And we're living it here together and we all kind of know what, how, how to navigate it. I think that really stands out. So that's, that's the way I describe it to people. I'm like, we're just like, yeah, we care about being thin and healthy and all, but also we're just living our lives and doing our thing. It's, there's no really big restrictions or big red flags. We, it's just the way it is. That's been the biggest part for me is just to figure out really how to put all those pieces together. Um, that's one of those things before I started with Ben, I was doing the parts individually, but wasn't really, you know, building upon the, you know, the, the puzzle at the end of the day. And working with Ben, working with the team has really allowed me to do that. And seeing how far I've come in a little bit over a year has been phenomenal. And now it's watching others here. I think one of the biggest things I get coming to these trips is actually getting more inspired when I go back home and go to my home gym to sit there and put in more work and put in more effort to keep making those gains. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah, it's funny to talk about the crumble cookies. Yeah, yeah. You know, like before you would just do it, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And now you're like with my fitness pal <laughs> doing the negotiations and like one the calculations. And I'm like, yeah. if I take one bite, damn it. Okay, no, I can't. <laughs> and but the options are. The option is, is there. The option right? is there. And it's, it's fine. Like, I don't need to. And and we know enough now about our bodies and nutrition to be able to play with it. Yeah. You know, to not like suffer like this constricted like no life kind right. of thing but we also kind of like you okay i have to bounce back like mm -hmm. i have to play with it on the back end to make make up for you know the damage i did you know with the crumble cookie 
Yeah. And it's not really damage. I mean, yeah. you have two options, right? You, we have our our caloric intake, but we also have the output. output. So, you know, some days we're, we're not going to be great. Some days, you know, life happens. You have a event, work event. You can't control what you're going to eat, those kind of things. So we it's were definitely just, life. Yeah. We yeah. were just talking about how do you explain this to others? And I was about to say, you know, you were in the military. Yeah. One of the things that comes to mind for me is a lot of military people will get unit tattoos or they'll get insignia tattoos. Um, I've never seen an organization where we felt so akin to each other that we got similar tattoos <laughs> yeah. about the organization <laughs> we're in. Yeah. And that is hard to explain to people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, ben recently, well, last week, spoke to my team at work. Uh, we had a virtual call. Sean did some breathing work, and then Ben went into what we do. And it was really enlightening to see other people start to take it in from his point of view, because yeah. they've seen the difference in me. And they've heard me talk about going on these trips. They've heard me talking about, you know, taking the time. Oh, I didn't get my steps in today. I'm going to go take a walk if you need me, page me, those kind of things. Yeah. Um, but it is, I have not finished my elevator pitch about what we are and what we what we do because it's more than working out. It's more than lifestyle change. It's, yeah. it's family, yeah. it, it's a, I, I don't know. Community. I feel like you can't yeah. even really fully explain. It's, it's hard. almost something that you kind of just have to come and experience yeah, exactly yeah. because even if you sign up and and i don't know you decide to come to this you really won't know until you're here and then it's like and then it clicks i feel like and yeah. then you're like this is why people are so like i don't know like why they want to come to these events multiple times a year like i mean that's commitment it is you're making uh you know changes to your family schedule yeah. your, your financial schedule all of these things but, but it speaks to everything that we have going on right for you to make that change or that sacrifice you know whatever it is time with your family but mm -hmm. it's an investment it, yeah and you, yeah it, but exactly. it's worthwhile for sure that's why you do it because we all see the dividends right, right. we all see the return yeah. Right. on the investment and to me like i think it was dave in the lot one of the podcasts was saying you know the, about the calorie intake as like withdrawals right like a, you know you don't want to go overdraft in your bank but to me right. like the output stuff that we do those are like the deposits mm -hmm. and i feel like doing stuff like this and then you know check-ins and the calories and the workouts those are all the deposits and i don't want to die poor right. i want to die rich you know and that's actually the way that i look at it is is just keep putting that money into the the yeah. muscle span bank so that I can live. I don't. I mean, I don't want to be like Diamond Dallas Page at seventy, but <laughs> I want to be in good shape. I'll be able to pay with my grandkids. Yeah, for me, it's really about getting the nutrition down, spending the next twenty five or so years being able to get out of the sand when you go for that volleyball <laughs> yeah. and not have to awkwardly get up and. And those kind of things and yeah. you know what ben has brought i don't think i don't think anybody including himself expected what oh, has come not. and yeah. i think it's the people that he has surrounded himself in this this community that already existed where some of us tangentially knew each other either through twitter or or word of mouth but then when we get together it's a whole different thing yeah. was colorado your your guys' first event yeah yeah. Was. We were talking about uh, how his first event was Phoenix, and I said, how many adults go to summer camp, right? That's how I felt. <laughs> when, I, yeah. when I took off for Colorado, I was like, wait, I'm going to adult summer camp. I'm going to be sleeping in a bunk bed. <laughs> I haven't slept in a bunk bed in 30-something years. Basic training for me. <laughs> yeah. What, what have I gotten myself into? And that intimidation when you walk into the room. Oh my god! And yeah. there were people 
like Tyler and Phil and Dave, who had been at the first event. Yeah. And you could tell. Yes. You could tell how much of an outsider you were in that moment. But it really, but you know, a couple of days in, and you're like, oh, okay, this is awesome. They are so welcoming. I feel, I feel good. I feel like. You know, I can really hang with these it, people. I feel like I'm seeing, when I see you and Tom and, and others, it's like seeing family Definitely. several times I a agree. year. Yeah, and I wouldn't miss it for anything. I actually was just thinking about that today at the beach. I'm like thinking, like just looking around. I'm like, I'm, I'm vacationing with people that were complete, total strangers yeah. a year ago. Like I'm at a beach swimming and having fun and none of them are like actual blood <laughs> relatives like it's crazy isn't it yeah i'm fully enjoying it definitely well it's funny because like as we start to like connect on socials and stuff like i see y'all posting on yeah. instagram like i was i was dming monica earlier and i was saying oh we miss you and she's yeah. like oh fomo and i'm like <laughs> and it really is like you start you kind of like have these breaks in between seeing each other yeah. but those conversations they still happen you know outside between, of yeah. the events and like on discord and everything like that and it's just yeah it's just, it's it has that kind of commodity like military camaraderie to me yeah where i yeah. still talk to some of the people i went to basic training 20 25 years ago yeah yeah it's i can see it being like that and keep up with each other's lives and stuff like monica having a baby it's like, yeah Yeah. we're tracking that pregnancy right oh, what, what's next all that stuff so yeah. it's pretty cool i feel like half of my like social media if i post anything like pictures stories whatever like most of the people interacting with me are the people from these groups like the meetups and like yeah that's like it just feels like that's our current life right now those are the people that are the most involved right now yeah You feel a connection. I mean, even Adam just being here the first, the first night for dinner, but having to go back to work. Yeah, yeah. It, it was like, wow, great. You know, it, we got to see him at least. Yes. And yeah. Remote but close. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Yep. It's yeah, I was bummed I got to miss him because I came a day late. Yeah. Right. And you know, he was one of the ones in Phoenix where I was just kind of like my soul because there's so many people, and my social battery was just like. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, and he actually came that up to me. He's like, "Are you okay?" Quite the first one to like, start with. <laughs> like actually, con yeah, right. <laughs> that is cool. He was legitimately one. concerned. Are you okay? And I was like, "I'm just drained, and I need to recharge." And cool. All right. Yeah. Check on you later. So yeah, it 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 was definitely welcoming. And again, that's awesome. Same thing. Yeah. It's good to I was saying you ran a great clinic. Oh, this run. See. It was it was good, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <Thanks. laughs> I, and I like, you know, the fundamentals, like especially when we were doing the squats, yeah. like just articulating like where your load is. Like I didn't I didn't have any of that. I didn't I was just Yeah, that's winging right, it. we learned that in Belfast with Helming. So okay. that was that was new to me then as well. And you found it, it really helpful. Yeah, yeah. You passed it on, yeah. That's yeah. Can you believe that <laughs> I was telling Jen, a year ago this week was Colorado. Can you believe where you were a year ago to leading the clinic? No, yeah, that's... To th this week? Yeah, how, take care of the hashtag, not a coach. <laughs> <laughs> But that's what this is, right? It, yeah. It's not... It's, it's like everybody growth. bringing something to the table, whatever that is. And Tyler, it's making bacon for us, right? <laughs> right now? But everybody has their own role, and it, it's like a family. Everybody has work to do yeah and it was awesome to see you there and ben gets to still go around but everybody gets what they want out of the event it was pretty awesome it was yeah. really really fun i'm glad he picked up and seeing your yeah. weight numbers a year ago yeah to seeing insane. what andreas is doing now yeah. i can't wait till a year from now yeah that's so exciting where, yeah. i mean I he was telling us he's wearing a t-shirt he got for his birthday last year that he couldn't fit into Yeah. Uh, eight eight months, tell me that. Eight months ago. Yeah, you, oh, were, yeah. you were still in the room. Eight months ago, he got that he, when he started. Don't and bad. he looks yeah. he looks super really slim good. in it. And yeah. um, and he's just he's hilarious. So. But his strength is also like, oh. Yeah. He's and like, endurance. He did uh, the whole Merv, the whole oh, thing by himself. After 
after you get double other stuff. And he was so <laughs> determined to finish it. Yeah. By himself. He um, was. I think, like, sorry, but like, yeah. jumping back into what you said, uh, we were talking about this on the car ride back and talking about, like, how I was kind of trying to explain to Grace, like, this oh, not a coach kind of thing was, like, with Adam and the fact that he's n not a coach but was doing the powerlifting clinic in, in Phoenix um, to then you running it. And I said, um, I said, Tom is one of the biggest hype men I know oh. because you were Thanks. like this whole not a coach thing, but it was like so uh, inspiring and you're genuinely so, and I got my deadlift PR when you were there, you were there yeah. and yeah. Adam was there Killed it. Yeah. and it was so, 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 so awesome to get that and might not have been able to, to match it this time, but like we have good days and bad yeah, days and that exactly. happens and it's all yeah. part of the journey yeah. and everything and it was learning that okay fine and it's like yeah i got prs and the other but two. you did get the other two yeah yeah you um, it. and that was awesome but it's so cool to see you in that role oh um, thanks man. guiding us through so. <laughs> <laughs> always uh, imposter syndrome is real <laughs> it is but the pictures came up in my timeline today on my phone I, and I was like, "Wow, what a difference a year makes for all of us." Dude, for real. And it's it doesn't seem it seems like so far away, but yet not. Yeah, but yet not. Because I can't believe the amount of work in a year, the difference that people have made. Yeah. yeah. And every, the events to me have been kind of the glass ceilings, and mm -hmm. every event I seem to shatter it and hit a new level. And it's like, okay, what can I do till the next event? Yeah. And yeah. that first event, it was, I blew my mind with what I was, what I thought I was capable of versus what I could actually do. Yeah. yeah. And I had, I couldn't even fathom where I'm at today. Like that was an impossibility. So that was. Imagine what the event's going to be a year from now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited Me for too. Belfast. I'm excited for Belfast. Then it's going to be official. Yours but, is, you're yeah. going, yeah? Uh, but then. Berlin and, so, and Belfast? I'm going to try it. Okay. So we're going to see. So right. start uni again. But I think going back to like seeing the progress is one of the reasons that like the progress photos we take every week are yeah. so, so, so important. I think I, I was going I through, <laughs> I think there's definitely <laughs> lots of weeks them. where it's like, yeah. I don't feel like taking them, but yeah. I think there was a kind of, I had a rough patch a month or two yeah. ago. And I was just like looking at the check-ins and stuff, and I was like, okay, let's have a look at some of the photos because I never look back at them yeah. once I take them. And I pulled up the one from the first week, and I started with them, and then like the most recent one, and it's like, yeah. wow, huge, like, hell, yeah, yeah. That's I do, I actually, awesome. I do do that, yeah. Because you get so used to seeing yourself, yeah. You don't realize how much progress you've really, yeah. really made, um, yeah. And that's such a part of why. Like it's such a data-driven approach. I mean, the photos are visual, yeah. But doing like the numbers and the PRs and stuff and seeing it carries the, the through. same with the go. taping. Yeah, the measurements, exactly. the weekly measurements, and we tell family and friends that are trying to lose weight themselves. You know, hey, one weigh yourself every day because yeah. it's about the average, not the number on the scale mm -hmm. per se. And then two, also do photos because there's going to be times that the measurements the scale or yeah. the scale yeah. doesn't move and so you need need that extra motivation and that really helps yeah. and there's so much more to it than just that it's yeah. just what we do yeah. and you know the mental health the the mindset if you have so an off week physically wise you, you can work on something else whether yeah. it's the meditation the breathing the gratitude the mindset yep and now with Lorena and, and the the movement uh, and the flexibility and mobility, mobility, and that's why I think the events are so powerful because it truly is a, a glass ceiling in your head. Yeah, and I mean, like even like going back to Phoenix, like I did things that I never thought I would have could have possibly done, and it was all a total mental barrier. And it was having the people around you to support you and say, you know what, you can do that. Yeah. And that's why these events are so important. And you're doing it right. And yep. if you do fail, we're here to support you yep. so you don't hurt yourself. Exactly. And yeah. then you can build from there. You know, and, and it's not being the next afraid event. of failure. Yeah. I think it's yes. also really, really important is yeah. allowing yourself to fail. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is yeah, is a really important to school. Yeah. 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 For sure.
and everybody's really uh, nice about failure. Like everybody's welcome, yeah. like pushes to failure. Like you yeah. want to fail, so it's it's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, I think because we we've all we've been there at some point, we can all relate. Like no one's gonna be perfect, so yeah. it it makes it easy to feel like you're safe to fail in front of people and they'll pick you up. Yeah. At least help you out. It's <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Hello. Hello <then>. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I was napping, sorry. <laughs> all good, all good. <laughs> Right, so, please. No, literally every time I went to get in the shower, somebody else was in there. So and then I went for an hour. Yeah. But I'm here. Limited shower. No, What's going on? So I'm really curious. Yeah. The first event was Belfast. Yeah. That, that I you were half attended. Half attended, but yeah. it was kind of a, your family. So it's yeah. you were there for the parties, but didn't <laughs> join us for the gym kind of thing. Yeah. This one, you actually worked out and did the whole gym thing. What's your experience from then? Before then, to then, to now, and like your thoughts on the whole thing. Um, I don't know. I feel like before, yeah, I was obviously involved in the parties, <laughs> um, <laughs> of course. Um, I really enjoyed being in the gym, to be honest. Like, I actually really enjoyed the stuff we did with you. I said I was like, I think you would make such a good coach, and like you really got, but like genuinely. <laughs> did someone else say that as well? <laughs> but um, I think like you really guided me through things, and like. When you asked me what my experience was with doing some of the workouts, and I was like, no, I can't, I can't. And you were like, yeah, you, you're great, you can. And then... Um, and you did? I did. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. And that's it. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed the whole experience, to be honest. And like, it's been nice to spend time with like all of you. Because um, also we okay. met before. Yeah. Um, I met like a good few of you before. Um, but it's just been, I've had like such a good time. I'm really me grateful too. that awesome. like Ben brought me along, to be honest. Yeah, us too. Um, and hopefully he will bring me along again. Yes. <laughs> we'll bug him. Yeah, so Jay, <laughs> Jay, I think um, I'll be uh, fighting my mother uh, to come <laughs> on the next one, to be honest. <laughs> Your workouts before was more like CrossFit style, right? Mm -hmm. So between CrossFit and what we've been doing in the gym with the weightlifting and stuff, do you feel like how do you feel about the differences and um i don't know i feel like i enjoy I, I so i don't know how much you know about what i ever did before but how i got into the gym was like one day i just was like i need to join and do something because i never set fit i had a really bad experience when i was really young when i was like 17 um where i went like my school had a gym and i went into it and uh this girl was just like i don't know what you're doing in there and I never went back. Whoa. She was so rude. And like, I had a really bad experience. She just made a really nasty comment. And I was like, okay, well, that is my gym career over forever. Yeah. Um, and then I didn't actually set foot in a gym again until maybe like March 2022 um, or like January 2022. But then I still didn't know what I was doing. So Ben, for my birthday, was like, do you want me to get you a trainer? And it probably nice. sounds really weird. Like, why didn't he just do it? Yeah. But it, this particular person that he wanted me to train with was um, like a woman she specialized with women who had had children and like most of her clients were moms and so it was really nice um, and I started going with her and like really quickly just became like quite confident but I think we spoke about this the other day that I was really confident in my gym yeah. at home and like I know the way around it like, really well um, but I and even like I go to a commercial gym that has there's quite a few across the UK. So when I travel for work, I go to the same ones, and they're all exactly the same. Same people, you would never see like big like meat heads or anything in those type of gyms. It's just like <laughs> normal people as well. I thought whenever I came to the belt, whenever I was going to the office event, I was expecting everyone to be like that. But I don't know why because I was like, well, no, but I did too. Did you? Yeah, yeah. Not the Belfast, but like the car. When you met, yeah, everyone. Yeah, That's I was like, everyone's gonna be yeah. super in shape, and yeah, you no, know, I'm not. It's gonna Literally, be I was but exactly was the same. I was like, I do not know what I'm like getting into here. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think the experience has been really nice because that was that's all I've ever done really. So I trained with her. She's been on maternity leave since November, mm. and then sort of after that, I've sort of been doing my own thing, but not really 
I think I need someone to like guide me. Yeah, the guiding is huge. Yeah, it definitely Having is. Having that structure or someone to push. Yeah, or someone to text me and be like, yeah. Grace, just fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> I think well, it's I important. Think Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> well, I, <laughs> but like what you just said about having someone to like push her along and guide her and guidance and all that stuff and i feel like that's what makes this work so well because we have the group where we you know we are guiding each other like telling each other you can do this what's our daily focus for this week and stuff like that so i think that's why this really like works so well that also pushes like for me because people are like oh you know I want to lift what you lift. And it's like, well, I can't skip now because they're looking up to that. Like, all right, I got to keep pushing too. So yeah. it's like, we're pushing each other in all kinds of ways, which is really awesome. Mm -hmm. So it's fun. And everyone is at a different point on their journey. Yes. And everyone's journey is so different and how, how they started and the challenges you overcome um, in getting to that point. And this is why, again, like the events are so great because you can see different people at different points in their journey and say like then coming to meet everyone again it's like seeing how they progress yeah, yeah. It's amazing. even yeah. different goals like uh tyler introduced us to merv this time <laughs> god awful i like lifting heavy weights yes movement from point a to point b but he had this workout where it was like a mile and then 100 push-ups <laughs> But it was really it fun. Was it was, it ended was up fun. being really fun. Yeah. It did end up being really torture fun. Torture is fun. Torture is fun. <laughs> but it was more like a cardio yeah. torture, uh, but also strength. Yeah. So it was I cool. think it was so it cool was... to say, oh, I've, I've done that. Yes. Yeah. And it wasn't, I think at the start, it's like you hit 100, 200, 300, and you think, oh, God, there's no way that I can do that. Yeah. But then you do it, and it's not actually as bad as you thought, and it's then another thing you you checked, checked off. off. Yep. Yeah, I agree. And you can say... And learn something else about... And you say, I've done it. Yeah, yeah. literally. It's funny saying... because I didn't... I Like, I legit did not want to do it. And no. I yeah. turned to Ben and I was like, wait, are we running? Because I'm not running. <laughs> 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 he just goes... But then you come up on and then everyone's doing it and everyone's running. And you're like, oh, I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm going to run. Like, fine, I'm going to run. And then, <laughs> I think and you just you that in Yeah, <laughs> it was nice to be able to split it the way we did it. Just yes. the three yeah. of us, obviously, we're in like a team. Yeah, we did all the squats. Yeah, we did all the squats. We did all the did all the squats. But um, the running, I was like, I've never run before in my, like, genuinely ever, not once in my whole life. And I was like, no, we're not doing it. But then after I did the first bit, and then I was like, I'll just do the last mile by myself, which I didn't. Yeah. Something that helped me with the last quarter <laughs> the of it. Majority of it. But yeah. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I could do that and not yeah. um, die. So, oh, you killed it. But it felt so good at the yeah. end. Oh my God, it really did. It did it. So I'm like, will I run now? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Good timing. Oh yeah. yeah. Just on about master. you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't do anything. I just said I was gonna do it, and then Ben was like, "No, no, no, no! You can't. <laughs> That's not what happened." You're well, like Ben. I have this so great idea for the whole group. Originally, it was <laughs> so I was like, "Hey, I think I'm gonna do the Murph." And then, but, so it's always on Memorial Day weekend when you do it, and uh, so he was like, "Well, I'll do it with you." And I was like, okay. And then it's closer and closer. <laughs> like, so when are we, like, when are we doing the Murph? He's like, I don't know. What's the plan? Like, <laughs> so, uh, I think it's typical. For so I was like, I don't know. So I was like, well, I'll just pick a day and do it. And he was like, okay. And then he was like, well, uh, second, I mean, we usually always do like a cardio or some kind of circuit yeah. on the last, uh, Last, last 30 minutes. Yeah, the last 30 <laughs> minutes of the last day. Yeah. And he's like, well, we'll do it, and you're in charge. <laughs> and he's like, and, it, and he's like, I'm telling everyone it's your fault. <laughs> I was like, okay. But he did come up with the it idea was, of, like, doing the relay and yeah, like that, yeah. so. We yeah. were just saying like, that we huge. really enjoyed it. And, yeah. like, well, at the time it was hell, but, like, after it. And it was fun, and it was, like, fun to, like, push each other along and it doing was, it in yeah. the teams that way. Yeah. Because, see, whenever he said that, I was literally like, no, bye. And 
I would keep it like I'm not actually playing. I don't really have to do anything. <laughs> um, but um, it. yeah, no, but it was actually fun in the end. It was really impressive to see. I watch Andreas. Like, oh my god, he crushed it. Yeah, yeah, he did it himself. So he's yeah. the only one that did the whole thing, or did yeah. you do it all yeah. as well? You did it all. You did yeah. it all. Yeah. But to yeah. watch his like self achievement, determination. But then when he was done, he was like. I just did that. Yeah. yeah. I did that. Yeah. Well, that was yeah. really cool to watch. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, it's actually, I mean, in mean, any of that stuff, I feel like it like, sucks when you're in it, but then, like, afterwards, like, it feels it's rewarding. Yeah. yeah. Like that, oh, like the climb in Colorado. Oh. That was, God, yeah. brutal. <laughs> awful. It was so brutal. That was our first event. And, like, we were, I mean, we were really out of shape. So. Yeah. That climb was how many steps on like over two thousand yeah. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Or eight fifty or something like that. Like something steps, like that. stairs. Yeah, but yeah. it was but like very steep. Yeah. Like super steep. Over the oh, I've just thought of something now. fun to do. <laughs> uh -oh. oh no. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> Don't get ready. All these So would you say the incline then was like your favorite part of, of the trip or you like your most your memory of, of Colorado? The incline was um I would say what felt like I just like we just achieved something yeah, yeah. that we didn't think we could. Like that I mean, we were so out of breath, 10 steps in, like, it was so bad, and, like, the whole time we were, other than, I think, Mike, Mike yeah. started ahead of us, but in the end, it was the, 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 the last was. three, it was just the three of us, yeah. and it took us so long, and I just remember looking up at you guys being, like, so far away, and I'm like, how are they doing this, and how are they already up there, and I'm like, oh, God, I'm so out of shape, like, it's awful, like, I'm not going to finish this. I'm not going to be able to like walk down to the bottom and like everyone's probably so angry waiting at us. And, like, and so at the end when we like got it done, it was, it felt like a, a big achievement. So it's kind of like, kind of can see how Andreas was feeling at the end. Right. Yeah. So the takeaway, you know, that was your takeaway from the, uh, Colorado. So what would you <laughs> say your takeaway is from, from this week and this year? Mm so hard um it, it could be open to anyone <laughs> yeah, yeah, somebody else can. <laughs> ben asked me to take over the power clinic power lifting clinic this week and going through everybody with that and that was a very uncomfortable space for me but i enjoyed it yeah um you wouldn't know that getting, you, at all that you felt that? like you wouldn't know that you felt uncomfortable doing that at all really at all yeah. oh my god i felt like i was shaking like a leaf no not at all like <laughs> i i think so many people said like you were it, it came really naturally to you. yeah i you thoroughly think. enjoyed it though watching everyone and watching the everybody lift and hit their prs or go to failure and it's like that's awesome yeah. super cool so i had a lot of fun doing it which was unexpected <laughs> I haven't, I haven't seen Adam do it, and I was like, I mean, it looks like, I mean, he were like, oh, well, I guess we're taking Adam's job. Now. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, I hear Adam might just be a coach now. <laughs> yeah, 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 there you go. Actually, hashtag actually a coach. Yeah. I'll, be, I'll take over the hashtag not a coach, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Great, so what's your takeaways? Being their first time? And yeah, I think I'm just like... I told you the other day in the gym, like, I had to walk away at a point. I was really, like, overwhelmed. And I think it's just, like, same, that's my brother. And the, like, space in the community that he's created here. I'm going to cry. <laughs> like, but the space in the community that he's created here is just amazing. And I was saying, like, obviously I met a lot of you um, before in Belfast. And um, I saw it then. And especially when we did the podcast that day, because, like, me and mum hosted it together. Um, and it was nice to hear everyone's stories, but this time actually seeing everybody in action, yeah. I was just like, oh my God, it's amazing. Like it's what he's thing. done here. Something's <laughs> happening. Yeah, like, yeah, cool. exactly, exactly <laughs> that. Um, I just feel like really proud um, of him and grateful that he's brought me along to see it. Yeah. Um, and I was saying to them, like, I really hope I can come to another. Um, and I think it would have been really easy for me I think, to go, okay, well, I'm here in Orlando 
for the first time on holiday. Yeah. Like I could just chill. Like I could have. You know, you were like, are you going to come to the gym? Yeah. So I don't know. I didn't know if whether Ben wanted me to be mm. that involved or if he was just like you know being nice and bringing me out here for a trip. And I could have just sat at the pool for the day. You were um, so nervous about the gym. Though, so too. nervous, yeah. especially that type of gym. Yeah. Like I've never been in that type of that, environment in my life. That was, that was an intimidating gym. Like yeah, I, oh yeah. like there there were some large folks. In oh yeah, there were. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> there were. Fair play to them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Just really proud and um, hope that I can come along another time. Do you do you feel that after kind of getting comfortable in that environment, you could go to another gym and feel more comfortable? Yeah. So I'm on the currently on the hunt for a new gym anyway yeah. because there's just some like re boring but there's real things happening as in trains not real um there's real and so i can't get to the gym i usually go to so i'm on the hunt for something new um and like me and ben were talking about it and he sent me a couple and i was like before i was like oh, i'd never go somewhere like that but i'm like yeah why not like i definitely could yeah. like, what's we'll stopping me really summer. exactly but especially with the prior experience you had like that's awful so it's good to know that you're o overcoming that hopefully yeah like i was really into it when i had a coach i was really into it and i was in all the time like um i and i i've never been a type of person that like cared that much about my appearance and i was like i was a bigger girl then and i but i didn't care i was just like whatever i'm happy and i'm like confident i actually have never been in that space um but then well i thought i wasn't and then now I'm like, I look back and I'm like, oh, you were really insecure back then. Yeah. But outwardly, I was like, you're doing a fake it till you make it <laughs> situation. Yeah, um, and like, I, I don't know, I've lost like 70 pounds, which you didn't know me. None of you met me back yeah. then. Um, but I think I was always like, yeah, I don't care. I don't care that I look like that. whatever. But it was just outwardly so that other people didn't say it. So um, it was like getting in there before they did kind of yeah. thing yeah um i was like well i'm happy whatever way but now i look back and I'm like, oh you weren't grace yeah. <laughs> like you really weren't um and now i'm like well if i can then move on to like sort of the next stage of that and just um join new gym and focus on like getting so strong. if you didn't yeah. work out when you lost the weight were you is that when you started working out yeah so, but it was just before we met you. Yeah, so I started, um, yeah, from the sort of March 2022 till it was like August 2023. Okay. Gotcha. That was the time span. So was it just the exercising or was it other things that you were doing in your life? It was just that... moving more. So I work remotely, like I work completely from home mm -hmm. um, and I didn't used to. I always was on my feet for my job. Um, so I used to work in hospitality. So I was just always up. And then I got this job where I was at a desk all day in my house i would go like five days without ever setting foot out the door i wow. understand like yeah really and i and then now i look back and i don't know how so like every day now i go for like a walk i make sure i get out in the morning so if my son goes to school like he leaves at like 20 past eight and then i go on a walk straight away as soon as he gets out of the house before i start work and uh just make sure even if it's like lashing rain <laughs> I'm like get out there yeah um so yeah i just move more genuinely yeah that's yeah. yeah didn't change diet or anything um probably uh not consciously like i, I didn't okay. really track food or anything like that yeah. um i started to later on but it was more for like the protein than calories when people say like oh counting calories or oh i'm really diving into it like you can go really deep M micronutrients and everything else but you don't necessarily have to yeah you know, as, i think if you have you're... different goal like particular goals that you need yeah. that for then that's one thing but for me i was just i just want to be like happy and healthy and yeah. like yep. feel good yeah. and i do genuinely yeah that's awesome. and your goals can always change if you want them to right yeah you don't have to jump straight into everything completely full on sometimes that is what makes you fail or if you go into that it's all or nothing and then you mess up because you're going to mess up because you're human and that can make you just be like oh well there it goes guess it's done they ruined it or, again guess i'll start <laughs> over on monday but then yeah. it rolls around you don't want to so and your goals have changed right yeah yes <laughs> do you want to talk about <laughs>
Because <laughs> <laughs> your goal was initially weight loss, right? Yeah. For the surgery, but yeah. now it's changed. You don't really care about the number as much anymore. Yeah, not 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 as much. I think um, I think mentally I still struggle where uh, because I I've been on like a deficit for over a year, right? So <clears throat> I think I'm still a little bit in that mode where if the scale moves up, it, it can be a little scary because she's just like, oh, like you're going the wrong way. But trying to remember and focus on what well, I'm trying to like build more muscle and more strength and that is going to make the scale move and that's fine. It's okay. Like it's not going to change like anything else. I'm still eating like healthy. I'm still prioritizing like exercise and all of that. So I really want to look strong. I want to be strong. I want to look strong. Um, and I know that that's going to take doing different things than what I've been doing, which again is going to make the scale move. Um, and now you feel yeah. Action, so. And now you're in control. And now I'm in control. Yeah, which yeah, again, still human. So again, I still have my moments where it's really scary, and it's like, oh no, can I, can I do this? But. So as you look at this week, or you still got, has that does that help you at all with changing that mindset as you go forward, or help reinforce anything there? It really it really does, and I th I was saying it earlier in the week that um, when I come to these events, especially like the last couple ones, right? Yeah. I feel like in the beginning, I wouldn't have dared to have enjoyed myself and like, you know, had marks and <laughs> whatever. I would have been too like, oh, I can't have any of that. Like, I, uh, it'll ruin everything. Whereas like now I'm like, this is okay. Like, I will get back home tomorrow and I will go straight back to what I do every day, right? Like, this is just for a short amount of time and I'm the person in control. I can say, all right, tomorrow I'm not gonna have any margaritas or I'm not gonna have <laughs> chips and guac. Like, like staple for the past few days. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, I have control. Whereas before, I obviously didn't have any control because I just kept eating whatever I wanted all the time, right? Well, that's awesome. Uh, I think this week's been great uh, compared to the rest of them. It's just different. I think I say that every time. It's just <laughs> they're each yeah. different and uh, yeah. yeah, and unique. Uh, a lot smaller than Phoenix, um, our, our last event, but uh, I still think it's great, more intimate, uh, being able to just talk with everyone, uh, see progress mm -hmm. um, as we as we go to each of the events. Definitely, I agree. I'm loving it. It's yeah, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> just feels like a family reunion now every time. <laughs> <laughs> That's so nice. Well, this is awesome, <laughs> and uh, I think looking looking forward to I think the next events Berlin. Uh, which is internationally, uh, but the next, uh, I think, domestic uh, U.S. maybe a Vegas, um, if not, uh, we'll see you in we'll Vegas. See. Yeah. Oh yeah. We're okay. gonna miss Berlin, but we'll be in Ireland. Yeah. We'll yeah. Be back. Everyone will be there. No, yeah. Be there. <laughs> and I will be there. We'll be there because I live there. <laughs> <laughs> Very excited. Yeah, cool. Looking forward to it. Can't wait. Yeah. <laughs>